Now join me for a quick demo of TMS, the most powerful management suite in the industry. So there's lots of ways uh, through TMS that you can schedule and uh, book a meeting, but we have uh, Microsoft Outlook, we have Lotus Notes, uh, and any other kind of organization out there that has uh, used our open API to uh, integrate their scheduler with ours. But here I'm in the Tamberg Management Suite kind of main page, and I'm going to use the interface here to schedule a meeting. So first in the basic settings, so here I'm going to select and type in the meeting title. It's uh, Mike's Q4 meeting. And then right underneath, I have the uh, capability to select if uh, I want this meeting to automatically connect, meaning that uh, TMS will initiate calls out to all the participants, or if I want the participants to be able to call in manually. Uh, I think I prefer them to be able to call in themselves. OK, now I want to pick uh, the meeting date and time. So I go into the calendar here. I want to select uh, Tuesday the 20th of October. And that's done, and the meeting will be at uh, 2 o'clock. And I would like it to go to 3, which gives us a duration of an hour. Okay, so moving over. And you can see over here I have the option if I want to set recurrence. Uh, this is a one-time meeting, so I'm not going to do that. But I do have the option to set it to be weekly, monthly, or every so many days. So moving on, uh, over in the advanced settings, I have uh, the capability to set more of the technical details of the conference. First, in picture mode. Um, I can kind of pick between uh, continuous presence, voice switch, or enhanced continuous presence, which means how the multi-site is going to look on the conference. With continuous presence, enhanced continuous pr presence, it means I'm going to get the best results and have everybody up at the same time, kind of like Hollywood Squares. Uh, IP bandwidth allows me to set how much bandwidth each user takes. Uh, 384 here is fine. Um, same with bandwidth uh, for the ISDN caller. We don't have any on this call, but if we did, we could set the ISDN bandwidth for those users as well. And then, of course, security is all, always a concern with a lot of our customers. Um, and it gives us the option here uh, to select absolute security, uh, I don't want it, or if possible. So we'll, we'll, we'll stay with if, if possible here for our conference. Okay, so most importantly, I want to make sure all of this gets uh, recorded and is recorded on the Tamber content server. So to the far right here, I have the option uh, right here in recording to go ahead and uh, select. I want this to be uh, recorded. And what that will do, it will reserve my spot on the Tamber content server and ensure that this conference is recorded. Finally, uh, I get to select the participants I want to add. Uh, so I simply do this by hitting this button, Add Participants, and then a new window will pop up. So, so first I want to select uh, the conference room because I do want to have this meeting in a conference room. Uh, I go to, uh, this is kind of my last used tab here, so a lot of the conference rooms I've chosen in the past. So I'm going to pick from here. And I see, based on the time schedule here, that Reston Franklin is available when our meeting is happening, because that's shown right here with the green and the red, start, finish. So I'm simply going to say OK. And now we've added Reston Franklin. So next, uh, after we've selected our conference room, you may or may not want to have a multi-point control unit or an MCU. But I've gone to the MCU tab, and it shows uh, the different options I have here uh, within the MCUs. So I'm going to select uh, North America Codian 1. That's our MCU. It looks like it's reserved here, um, but since it's an MCU, that just means that somebody somewhere has reserved a port on it, and it's showing that it's uh, taken. But TMS is smart, and it'll tell us uh, if it doesn't have enough ports for our conference. So I'm going to go ahead and reserve it now, and I'm going to hit OK. So the final piece of the puzzle is uh, making sure I have enough ports on the uh, multi-point control unit, or the MCU. And uh, I have two choices. I can go through and I can pick uh, everyone's name out of the directory which is uh, certainly a viable option, or I can set up uh, just a number of users I know that are going to call into this meeting. So uh, my meeting's for five people. Um, here uh, I'm going to set up uh, a dial-in call into the MCU. It's going to be IP, and it's all going to be video. And uh, I'd like to set up for five, so just in case, I'm going to go ahead and reserve seven external users in case someone else decides to call in or we invite someone last second. And then I simply hit OK again. So there, uh, there are all the elements. Uh, I've uh, gone ahead and I've reserved the room. Um, I've made sure that it, we're recording it. I've reserved the MCU. And I got seven ports on the MCU for external users. So the last step, I can do kind of a final check here. And then I want to save the conference. So I hit Save. And I get a confirmation page here. And in, uh, momentarily in my email box, in my inbox, I'll receive a notification for TMS confirming all of these details. And I'll be able to take that information and send it on to all of my attendees in the meeting. And there you have it. 
with TMS, it's as easy as that.